back to another vlog style video. Um, so far, I'm going to be doing a tag. So I've been tagged by two huge um, booktubers. So I'll put their pictures here and go check out their channel. Um, one is finally back on booktube. She went on an eight months uh, live my life kind of deal. And the other one I just recently um, been following and she is, I love um, her channel because she has these interesting um, older books that she finds and she always have these stories um, and a little bit of background on the cover and you know the author things like that so I find her channel very interesting and very informative so definitely um, go check it out so like I said her face her channel name here and um, yeah so I'm gonna be reading off the computer so the first question was what books are you looking forward to reading this February in honor of Black History Month now I did a TBR for that and um, a lot of people I know of you guys have watched it but let me just recap <laughs> and um, I had I believe five eight on the list and guys I read five already so that says a lot so I had Breathless by um, Beverly Jenkins read it already did a review on the blog um, so check it out I'm definitely gonna talk more in the wrap-up um, recently finished um, on my Kindle, um, Snowflake, loved it. I also did a video review, so on the previous vlog, you will see my review on how I felt about the book, and so go check it out. I also finished, um, what else I finished? Um, Unfor Unforgivable Love. Yeah, my opinion is to come. But if you're in the group, the Goodreads group, you already see me talk about how I felt about <laughs> the characters. Yeah. <laughs> so that's done. I finished the Daniel Allen's, um, um, oh, what am I? The Telltale. And I'm definitely going to review that. And all I got to say is Daniel Allen, she don't disappoint. Oh. The one that I finished this morning is... The Poet X. And this is one of those where I feel like it makes you think about the relationship you have with your mother when you were young. Especially those of us that had those complicated relationships with our mothers. And then when we older, we find how much healthy and um, different how we feel about our, our parents. I remember being young, couldn't wait to get the hell out of the house. <laughs> and then now I'm missing my mother. My mother's currently on vacation in another country. And I'm like every day wake up thinking I need to buy a ticket to join her because I'm not used to not having her around for that long. So this, definitely this book, you know, gave me that. I smile because I think, oh my God, this character, if you could think of the future, how their relationship could possibly be so much different. Yeah. So what I'm going to say is Poetic X lived up to the hype. This is definitely a must read. It was worth the award. I definitely, at first thought, strong four, but by the time I was done, I'm like a five star for me. I think it is brilliantly done. It's done in verse. It's so short, but it had the punch, the power, and everything you would think of. So this is what I'm going to basically put on this as far as like talk about it, um, because there's just so many reviews out there. but. That's just how I felt about this. So what's the next one? It said, uh, cite and talk about a, a re sold book publishing before 1970 that you love. So what I got here? So there's just two that I want to basically highlight where I think everybody has some point. <laughs> have read these and this is James Baldwin, The Fire Next Time and Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale um, Hurston. So 
unfortunately, this is the only book I ever read from her. <laughs> and um, I do have all the books, but I need to read more. And um, and this is one of my favorite from last year, which you know I've talked about many times how important this is. It is nonfiction, and I definitely um, read it with this this clear understanding, these aha moments, and how relevant it is to now even though it was written so many years ago. So I believe this one was published. What do I have here? I'm taking forever. Um, this one, um, 1962. So definitely before the 70s. And this one, I mean, this one is extremely old. Uh, this one was originally published in 1937, so yeah. I do have all the classics, um, but those are the ones I want to basically put in the video. So the next one is, what resold it book would you like to see adapted to movie? And I did this in the picture on Instagram, so this is definitely going to be Book of Harlem by uh, Bernice McFarlane and the some, some Sing, Some Cry. And they both sagas that went you know way back um they both surround music um from what i know this was picked up so there is a new a movie that is supposed to be i don't know sometime in the future but i believe this is already going to be a movie this of course not yet but guys you should read this this is like a really well done family saga and it really read and pulled me in I, and, it, and it's a chunky one but I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. I just went through this so quickly because it, the story is so engaging. The characters are engaging. That you just literally don't want to put it down because you want to see what's going to happen and how things change over the, you know, the, the decades between the generations. So definitely a good one. So what else I wanted to talk about? So next one is... Uh, show and talk about one of your favorite resolid book by a male, act, male author. Sorry. So we got, we are, it's another toss up because you guys know I talk about Marlon James. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Marlon James. So, you know, can we say, <laughs> can we say, you know, Book of Night Women um, back here, you know, and I do have the other one downstairs, so I'm not going to grab that, but that is, um, Seven, the brief killing, brief history of seven killings, and of course the new one, which is here, which is a part of my TBR. I didn't even show you guys these two. This one, and this one is a part of my TBR. Um, I, I very much doubt I'm gonna get to this this month, um, but definitely this is probably gonna be the last read of the month. Um, so, yeah. Marlon James and of course James Baldwin those are the two male authors right now that are completely like my man <laughs> they are my man <laughs> so the next one is what uh, we sold a new release are you excited about this year so of course this was definitely one so let's get this out of the way also I have Patsy by um Nicole Ben Dennis, um, Nicole Dennis Ben. Why am I getting her name wrong? Um, anyway, Patsy is a must. I also had Danielle Allen on my list, and I already read her book, so um, those are pretty much it. There's probably going to be more coming up as I see what's in store, um, but I haven't been keeping up with um, uh, releases coming up um, in general, so we'll see. Um, no, there's another one. There is another one. Oh, goodness. If I remember, I put the picture up. But there is another one. Queenie. That's the name of it. Queenie. Um, definitely want to read that one. So, the other question. What we have? Um, a lot of us diehard fan um, to Toni Morris as the Queen. Um, what am I saying? A lot of us diehard fans... Refer to Toni Morrison as the queen. Which writer do you feel could be the queen, could be the next queen in African-American literature? And, you, you know, 
can we just say Bernice McFadden? Um, get to know her. Oh, uh, what else? Lord. My sorry, my screen is not the business today. Let me tell this. Uh, what's the last book by an African American author that you read, loved, and gave four or five star? Um, well, this is the latest one. Um, well, I told you what I gave it already. And then this one, which um, were amazing. So, yeah. What else? Oh, show some beautiful um, books by African American author. All right, so I grabbed some old, oldies, oldies but goodies. And then we have this one um, in company of my sisters. Look at the cover, guys. Yeah, I'm here for this. And we have classic Terry McMillan. Still one of my favorite cover of all time. Like, look at that. Oh. And then classic I really like this I think it's just so classic because it's an actual portrait of um, a Jasmine Warner her brother and I think it just it's when you as soon as you see it you stop and look at it just because it has this historic family moment in the cover I like this I like uh, 32 candle nothing like it, a black woman on a cover with a big afro like Yes, I'm here for this. <laughs> um, there's a lot more that I have. I mean, of course, you know, this is still an absolutely amazing cover. Yeah. Um, the current book I'm reading. I mean, look at that. Um, and pretty much all of them. I think what I'm really realizing now is a lot of um, our black authors are coming out with much better cover than before. I remember just being so annoyed by some of the covers back in the days where it just, just weren't good at all. But I like that now they're really take, making an effort to bring covers that are um, eye-catching but has that nice art, artsy feel to it. So yeah. Alright, what we have? Uh, Black History Month is about its people. What book would you like to read to learn more about African American? I don't have anything for this, guys. Um, I'm always reading interesting story and background. I'm always a big fan of books with uh, music um, in the background, on the Renaissance era, those kind of story. Um, but I think I, I very few books I learn anything new. Um, so. I can't answer that yet because, you know, as a, as I am introduced to books that I never heard of, maybe I will get a little bit more inspiration for this question. But, nah. um, show what you're currently reading, and this is this one. I'm no, I'm nowhere deep in. Literally, just a few pages because I just picked it up right after I finished that one. So I've had this on TV off forever. So, yeah, I need to get to it. So that's how I feel about this one. And tag some people. I don't know, guys. So I'm going to put it in my description box who, are, who haven't done it yet that I think might want to do it. Um, but if you haven't done it, do it. It's, you know, before the month's over. I think it's just a good way to talk more about um, books written by um, black authors, African-American authors, that kind of deal. So, yeah. So, I am going to clean up all this book I have everywhere and get back to writing. Um, I had pictures taken yesterday, so I'm really, really excited about that. So, stay tuned. There will be some more blog posts coming up so with actual me. Uh, might have a new uh, Confession Chronicles. I haven't had one in about maybe three weeks, but there's one coming. Um, and that's it for right now. So, yeah, stay tuned. I want to add that I am reading Ethic, so I had to put that in there. So it is a crime romance kind of deal, but it's my first urban fiction in a long time. So I'm hoping I enjoy it.
because it's about four books in the series. So if I enjoy it, I continue. If not, this will be it. Um, I'm only maybe about two chapters in, and it, it reads good. It's getting my attention, um, but we'll see. So I'm definitely going to end the vlog now because it's going to be long. I did go and collect some books that I ordered. I have more books coming. I also have a new candle coming. Thank you. Because this candle is pain right now because it has a old battery. So I'm going to do a book haul and maybe open up my candle. <laughs> and um, talk about a little bit about March. I mean, today is, what are we, the 9th? What's today's date? The 18th. So... Um, gonna talk about uh, a book that I want to talk about. It's gonna be for the read along March Mystery Month. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna end this here right now. So catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.